Yes, guys, Wolverine is now out officially in the game. So if you are a Battle Pass owner, you can get the Wolverine skin completely for free right now, literally by doing your challenges. We've also got leaked other skins, such as a Gingerbread Renegade Raider, a Giddy Up Fish Sticks, and more, guys. So let's get cracking into the video to find out absolutely everything Fortnite news leaks and update related. So guys, what is going on? Evolves here. Yes, that is right. Today is an awesome day for leaks in Fortnite. If you go on to enjoy the video and find it useful, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you obviously are subscribed to me here on the channel to stay up to date with absolutely everything Fortnite related. And finally, guys, credit code bubbles in the Fortnite item shop to help support you get out that one step further. Let's get cracking though guys straight on with the update stuff today. Little side note before I get into it, version 14.30 confirmed is going to be happening next week. A lot of theories were going along this week. I gave it time. It's now past Thursday essentially so there's no way it's this week. Definitely without a doubt 14.38 going to be next Tuesday or Wednesday. And believe me, it's going to be huge and have a lot of stuff, hopefully for the live event within it. But let's talk about this week. Let's talk about today, update stuff. What have we got? Obviously, like I said in that intro, Wolverine has indeed finally come out in a form that the challenges are out. You can complete your challenges to get the skin completely for free as long as you own the battle pass right now. Now, Epic have released this incredible trailer, so I'm going to play it because there's some hidden stuff within it that you guys need to be aware of. Yes, guys, that trailer was absolutely awesome. I love that trailer. I love Wolverine, so that was really awesome. But did you guys notice when the characters were all lined up ready to take on Wolverine, a couple of them actually had some weapons that were worth noting. First of all, we had some dual sort of swords. Uh, pickaxes, I take it, they're going to be, which is very interesting. The only ones similar to that are the Black Mantis ones. So maybe they're those, but I think they're slightly different. So certainly very cool. Hopefully some form of new dual sword pickaxes to come. We also, just to the left of that, in Guff's hand, actually had a baseball bat, which is really awesome, really super crazy, because a lot of people love the Harley Quinn baseball bat. So if there's another baseball bat coming into the game for a pickaxe, I know a lot of people will love that. And hopefully Hopefully we're going to get that pretty soon because I know I definitely want to get that. But finally, regarding this image, something else worth noting is that there is indeed the tack shotgun in it and there is no pump, uh, which is kind of worrying for me. I'm a big pump user now. I love the pump. The tack was a potato shooter, you might as well say. And seeing that, hopefully not meaning that pumps are going to go and attacks are returning next season because I have a couple of other bits of evidence as to why the pump might be leaving and that is because pumps in Team Rumble have actually had a huge nerf in their spawn rate. The spawn rate is basically close to zero of actually finding a pump now which is mental because obviously most people want to use a pump when they jump into Team Rumble to warm up and that kind of thing but all you get in these days is charges or the combats and no one wants to combat because again they're kind of pea shooters but yeah the only way in team rumble at the moment really to get one if you want one efficiently is to side grade a charge shotgun but apart from that they've had a big old nerf that not a lot of people are talking about knowing that that's a thing and then knowing that in the wolverine trailer there wasn't a pump kind of worrying but really fingers crossed hope that the pump is going to remain longer in the game because i really don't want to see it altered again moving on though what have we got next up here we have indeed got a a brand new LTM which is going to be coming. It's called Hydrogen. I spoke about it briefly about a week or two ago. I think it was quite a while ago actually. And it's basically some form of new domination sort of game mode. And it's kind of been confirmed, not officially confirmed, but it's kind of been confirmed that it is going to be this domination, but it's not in the form of a Marvel LTM. Uh, however, some of the platforms are basically identical to the ones from the Marvel game modes, but it's not going to be Marvel. So honestly, I'm really looking forward to this Hydrogen. I love domination game mode so disco domination sort of thing i hope to be returning soon in this hydrogen ltm next up though support a creator obviously there is these things called sacos 
product creator codes, creator codes, whatever you want to call them. And basically that is how you can type someone's name, like mine is Bobbles, into the item shop and that creator gets a little bit of the money back. So it's a really awesome thing. That is going to be open for more applications very soon, which is very good. They kind of closed it for a very long time. So as long as you have, I believe, like over a thousand subscribers or followers on the social media and that kind of thing, you can start to apply for it pretty soon. This is thanks to Rocket League that this is going to be a thing again. So honestly, pretty cool. And thank you, Rocket League, for having a creator code that's also the same as Fortnite, which is really dope. So again, if you want to use credit code bubbles in the Rocket League or Fortnite item shop, I really damn appreciate that. So thank you. Next up here, we have information about an unreleased henchman though. Hypex did indeed tweet out, there's an unreleased slash unused henchman codenamed called Shield. As far as I know, that's the Marvel organization and the heli carrier spawn lobby ship is supposed to be theirs. So yes, this is completely correct. Shield is indeed a very large organization. They have their own sort of TV show and they're known in Marvel movies. They're kind of the, the people behind a lot of the heroes as far as I'm aware anyway. I don't want to state too many facts in case they're incorrect. But S.H.I.E.L.D. we all know and they are definitely the ones that own the heli carriers, which is really awesome to see since we obviously spawn on the heli carrier. And there is some that are literally flying above the map at the moment of time, which is again really dope. And I'm thinking that this is going to have a large portion of the live event is going to actually feature these in, which would again be super, super cool. Um, Shield, I do believe, correct me if I'm wrong, called on Captain Marvel, right? In the Captain Marvel movie? Shield had something to do with that. So, honestly, in the live event, if something along the lines of like Shield turning up as the, the henchman, I guess, on the ship, and then like Captain Marvel's there, something like that, I don't know, seems pretty cool. I, I definitely am hyped by this. Obviously, there's no like official confirmation, but these henchmen henchmen, the shield henchmen, could have some form of part to do with the live event and honestly be new henchmen in Fortnite. That would be really dope. Let me know what you think about that though down in the comments and correct me if I'm wrong please. I'll be tagging if uh, I am incorrect so you guys can obviously see the correct comments. But yeah, moving on to the next topic here. This is absolutely huge, 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 huge stuff guys. And it is again from Hypex and it's a bunch of leaked skins. Now we all know that from the other day this image was leaked and we know that obviously the only skins there that aren't in the game at the moment, Black Black Panther, Captain Marvel, who we were just talking about, as well as the one who I'm most hyped for, Ghost Rider. So they're obviously all three leaked skins coming during this season at some point because it is the Marvel season, right? However, there's more skins that have been found out by an anonymous sourcer who has said so much, and it's happened to be true over the past few months, that these skins are honestly really crazy. And I know a lot of you guys are going to be hyped for these skins. I'm hyped for quite a few of these skins. But these ones are most likely going to be after this season and into throughout the next season. So the first one, what have we got? Ginger Renegade Raider. This has been confirmed. This is going to happen in season five so next season not too long away now definitely incredible and i can't wait for that so many people love renegade raider and a new ginger variant of that is gonna be coming which again super exciting to see next up though what have we got we've got a brand new exclusive ps4 Five skin. This has also been confirmed. I have all of the old PlayStation ones, the PlayStation exclusive ones. So honestly, having a PlayStation 5 one, I'm not getting a PlayStation. That's kind of gutting because I'm gonna not have that one. But nevertheless, it's really exciting for people that spend a lot of money for the next gen consoles. Next up, we also have an exclusive Xbox S skin. This is not confirmed. However, I kind of, out of all of these, hope for that one the most. Not because I can get it, because I won't be able to get it, but purely because Xbox needs something exclusive. And I hope they get that, honestly. Because if all of these happen and that one doesn't happen, I'm going to be so gutted for Xbox users. But still, we have no idea what it's really going to be like. Most likely green in some sense. But yeah, some form of exclusive skin, hopefully, going to be happening and coming to Xbox S. Next, though, the one I'm most excited for, for myself, uh, probably the one that I can most likely get, is indeed a, another style slash skin, the Giddy Up 
fish sticks. Now, this isn't 100%. This one is very unlikely. However, I really hope it does happen because it would be amazing. This is indeed the concept of it. The concept looks phenomenal. I think this would be a great skin. I love the Giddy Up skin as a troll skin. And I love fish stick skin because, you know, Benji Fishy <laughs> is where he originates. So, yeah, being a little fan. That, for me, is, is a win-win. It's great skin in general. I really hope that is a thing. Let me know all of the skins that I've just spoke about, as well as the three Marvel skins. Let me know which one you're most excited for. I would have to say either Giddy Up Fish Sticks or the Ghost Rider. But yeah, that is indeed going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have indeed enjoyed. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to me here on the channel to stay up to date with all the latest Fortnite news leaks and updates. And finally, guys, credit code bubbles in the Fortnite item shop to help support you get out that one step further. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, see ya.